All right, so I got the ESCs soldered. I got my harness made, and I also got the motor wires already soldered on. So you can see I labeled all the arms, so I know where the ESCs go to, which one on the uh, NASA controller. So uh, pretty much I spent all day just pretty much wiring and soldering on these uh, EC2s and stuff like that. It took me a little bit longer than expected because I was having trouble trying to pop the bullet onto the connect the plastic housing itself because I didn't have a flathead screwdriver that was small enough to actually push the whole housing in there. Um, it is a big mess. I also made a spider adapter or whatever you guys want to call this is octo spider hex whatever you guys but pretty much I just sliced the middle of the wire I wrapped it around each other and, it was, and I soldered on the power to the nozzle controller and also the wire uh, the power to the battery so pretty much clean setup I have some plastic installed in here so nothing would never touch I even uh, put some uh, high glue all the way around so that makes sure that no metal object will ever get in contact with the positive and negative so I'm pretty excited you know I'm pretty happy with the way it came out uh, motors are very easy to do once you figure out you know which one is A, B and C for the colors pretty much three are the same and the other three are opposite so you know you solder on each one is going to be same opposite same opposite but you guys don't want to hear that you know I just want to keep you guys updated on my build uh, I'm pretty <laughs> tired right now I got all my junk on the floor I finally got my new Futaba out the box so finally put it to use with the receiver I got my solder you can see it's a big mess over here lighter for the heat shrink scissors I got everything all over the floor but I'm, I'm happy now everything's done so I'm gonna install the top cover lock tight all the screws now and program my nozzle so this will be the last uh, update video and the next video will hopefully be the flying part if all goes well. So fingers crossed, guys. Hopefully I don't program my NASA incorrectly and cause it to crash before I can even make a video. But, yep, happy. So there you go, guys. I uh, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And have a great weekend and a happy new year to everyone.